How you doing? I'm Kyle. This is Suburban Backwoods Entertainment, and this is my everyday carry. I see a lot of channels out there, they do their everyday carry, and honestly, I find myself kind of watching till the end, because I'm kind of intrigued. Anytime before I leave out the door, this is everything I always have on me. All right, start with something I always have in my pockets, you know, just your basic. Got my wallet. I always have a chain on it. That's just because uh, I always keep my wallet up front in case someone tries to pickpocket me. Pickpocketing. It's always on a chain, it'll tug on. I don't like uh, having my wallet in my back pocket ever. Next, just a regular pocket knife. Anything uh, spring assisted knives I like best. You know, it's just easier to do what you gotta do. All right, so next thing I have are two clips. I have the 16 round for the SD9, it's a nine millimeter. And then also for the shield, this is eight rounds. For the SD9, I keep my back area. Uh, just because it's not gonna be my primary uh, weapon of choice. It's gonna be my secondary, but there's that. It's cleared. And then on my right side, my most uh, predominant hand, I'll have the uh, shield. And this will be my primary one, just because, uh, in my opinion, I don't really need any more than eight rounds for, you know, take off a couple shots. Most crimes, it's, uh, I forget what it is. It's only a couple shots taken, but if shit really hits the fan, I have the secondary one. Once again, clear. I think for the average person, that's probably even more than what they really need. But for, you know, it's always good to have that first secondary uh, weapon of choice, as well as a knife, chain can be used. Um, but I go a little bit step further, just in case you never know what's gonna happen. So I like to put myself in situations and scenarios where things are possible and probable. Let's just say you're out buying shoes and a knife wielding man just comes storming in going crazy. What do you do? Well, <laughs> That's why I got this. <clears throat> 12 gauge shotgun, semi-auto, not Mossberg 935. <laughs> so I keep that on me. And you know, it holds six shots, so you just bang, 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 and you know, you can go back to buying your shoes. <sighs> you just gotta, you know, adjust your posture for when you're carrying such a firearm. You gotta sit a certain way, walk a certain way, but you'd be protected. All right, so another scenario or situation would be, you know, maybe you're taking a walk in your local park or something, and uh, there's a pack of squirrels. So let's just say it's, you know, five, six, seven o'clock in the evening, you wanna go take a walk in the park, your local park, and there's a pack of wild squirrels. A pack of wild squirrels are known to be extremely dangerous. They just got done eating their nuts for dinner, but now they want yours for dessert. So what do you do? Well, that's why I always keep my Ruger 1022. You know, I like to keep the scope protected once, you know, if I need it. But you got your Ruger 1022, and I do have a 25 round clip for that. You know, when you're chasing, you know, when you're getting chased by a pack of rabbit squirrels, you want to make sure you have enough ammunition to be able to take care of the job and protect yourself so you can get out of there. And once again, with a little bit of physical condition, you know, um, you're able to carry all of these with you every time you walk out the door. That's just personally what I do. You know, this my ADC, not yours, might not, it might be for you, you know, and go for it. You know, that's why I say, this is just what I do to protect myself anytime I ever go outside. So the next situation, a scenario I think about because I go fishing a lot. And let's just say I'm going out catfishing and, uh, you know, I'm staying there my own business, you know, maybe trying to film, catch, you know, a good sized catfish, carp, muskie, wherever I go for for that day or whatever I seem to catch. I'm just sitting there and a little, you know, cute little puppy comes running along and sits right next to you. Well, look at the puppy, you start patting its head. You know, like, hey little puppy. You know, give a little bump on the nose. And this is mid-July, 100 degree weather in Ohio. And a mother freaking polar bear comes running at, at you, charging you. Look at it, you realize that, oh, it's not a puppy. It's a freaking offspring of a man beast. Santa Claus is a puppy. Well, those things come charging at you. What are you going to do? You need a lock and load in tactical mode. Keep this in a very special place. <laughs> The Smith & Wesson AOR Sport 2. I keep this 40 round mag and then you do your business. You know, you take care of that, you know, freaking polar bear that's about to maul your ass. Like the Revlins. You know, I think that was a grizzly, whatever. Lock and load, tactical mode, bam, bam, bam. Unload all 40, it's down, you don't got a problem. And now you just gain a cute little 
white albino puppy. Another situation, what if I decide to go, you know, outside of state lines and go to uh, California, let's say, maybe I want to do some surfing. Well, in California, they pretty much, you know, banned everything, including breathing, without their permission or else it's against the law and you'll get whatever seeds. Nonetheless, um, you know, can't have any firearms pretty much, so if you, I've seen the Lost Boys. All right, I know there's vampires out there. So what I'm personally going to do is I'm going to always have this on me is this is the Vampire Slayer 3000. Okay, and uh, this here is actually the same sword that was uh, that slayed Goliath. So take out the feet, stab them in the head. They're probably not dead, but look at this. Take that some bitch and you right into the heart. A group of vampires ain't gonna bother you anymore. You gotta put yourself in real world situations, you know, and practice and train for it. And plus, I think I'll get a head nod from Wesley Snipes. All right, so that's my EDC, my everyday carry. That's just personally why I carry every single day to. You know, for safety protection, you know, it's, I'd rather have ease of mind, you know what I mean? Um, although situations might be slim, they're all probable, it's all possible, you know? So, but thank you for tuning in. See y'all next video. Enjoy.